What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a get off like reading for Sound of Cancer. This is resonating if you have cancer, any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, Venus, your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sound of Cancer. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out of Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,340 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. Well, I went over all that. But, yeah, seriously, I appreciate all you guys. I really, really, really do. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, hope everybody's doing well. We have golden cosmic egg otter. I received one channel message as I was meditating on Cancer's uh, mid July of 2022's reading. Um, this will resonate if you have Cancer any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own particular life and situation. However, it resonates. If it resonates and applies for you, cancer. I did receive some channel messages as I was meditating on your um, mid-July of 2022's energy. Don't forget, some of the messages could resonate now. Some mid-July, some past July, because there's 7 point something, something billion people in the world and some cancers. So, it's, um, you know, everybody's on a different time of life path. So... If it resonates, it resonates. Um, I'm not the universe. I don't pick when it resonates for you. Just for real. Okay. All right. Um, so the channel message I received was, uh, or one of them was, um, psychic attacks are about to backfire was the first one. Psychic, psychic attacks are about to backfire. Um, I heard, and then the second one I heard through many series of chain events, uh, a very popular online social media platform of a cancer's is about to be shut down because of many unexpected series of chain events that are about to occur in the universe soon. So some kind of psychic attacks are about to backfire. That could be somebody putting psychic attacks on you or you putting psychic attacks on somebody else. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else cancer. So um, some kind of psychic attacks are about to backfire. It's absolutely because... When you start throwing blows in the 3D, I'm not the 3D, the spiritual realm, which is whoever this is that's uh, throwing psychic attacks, they're doing it in the spiritual realm. Confirmation for my fat boy. Come on, baby. Um, so that means uh, whether it's you or some or somebody doing it to you. But the point is, if you're high enough in the spiritual realm, it's going to automatically return back to sender. And whoever this is, it sounds like it's going to automatically return back to sender if they're high vibrational enough. And that's just the truth. Automatically returning to sender. Automatically returning to sender. It's about to seriously backfire. Automatically returning to sender. It's about to seriously backfire. Yeah. So it's automatically returning to sender and it's about to seriously backfire. And that's the truth. Anytime you um, send any kind of psychic attacks... Um, it's going to automatically return to sender and um, backfire. And that's the truth. So, um, you know, I feel for some of you guys, it's doing it. It's happening to you. For some, um, that people are sending the psychic attacks to you. For some, I feel you might be sending them to somebody else. But I would just be careful because you do dark stuff in the spiritual realm. It's going to end up boomeranging back on you. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Uh, maybe that's just maybe for one or two of you guys. But I feel for a majority of you guys, somebody's trying to do it to you and it's going to automatically return back to sender. So uh, you plug in and how it resonates. And then some kind of very popular online social media platform of a cancers. Um, this could be you cancer or some, or maybe you guys know this cancer. It's a cancer that has a very, very popular online social media platform. Um, through many series of chain events, um, the platform is about to be shut down. Um, some kind of shocking series of chain events coming up in the universe. So, um, 
only you know your specific story and situation, Cancer. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but whoever that particular message is for, um, they uh, have a very popular online social media platform. It sounds like something's about to happen in their life or to the platform that's about to have it. Um, maybe something happens to them and they have to shut their platform down or something happens to the platform. Um, however that resonates um, in one's life. Spirit messages you have some cancer. A Virgo is heavily involved with cancer. For one, a Virgo of the past is about to become very significant in cancer's life. A Virgo is heavily involved with the cancer, so some kind of Virgo energy cancer strong for you. They could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or their main hand Jupiter charts. And for one of you guys, a Virgo of your past is about to become very significant. Uh, one is the secret lover of the past. One is the secret lover of the past. One is the black magic COVID investigation of the past. One is a black magic coven investigation of the past. So one is a secret lover of the past. That's how the Virgo is of your past is about to become significant, I'm presuming. And for one, it's a black magic coven investigation of the past. So maybe this Virgo is an investigator of this black magic coven investigation, um, black magic coven of the past, or they were they were uh, head of the black magic coven of the past, or. Um, or they were a member of the Black Magic Coven of the past. However, that resonates there. Um, cancer. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Teardrops, great personal sorrow, caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. You have cosmic egg, otter, earth signs could be very significant in, in your life, Cancer. Somebody's dealing with a Virgo very, very strong, either currently in the energetic space or past energetic space. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are Cancer, number 24 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 24 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Mushrooms, adjacent possibilities, teardrops, great personal sorrow, caterpillar, things would always be this way, a change is coming. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Cosmic egg. Universal shifts are coming. Universal force change very soon. Universal shifts are coming. Universal force change is coming soon. So some kind of universal force change. Now, universal force change is basically the universal universe forcing it, whether um, whether you want it to happen or not. Um, this, I mean, it could be you being part of the universal force change, or some, or the universe forcing it on you. But it's shifts in the universe that you cannot control, basically. Um, usually, um, it's just universal force. It just happens, and a lot of with the universal force, it just happens, and you cannot control it, basically. Um, I heard universal force energy coming, uh, huge shifts coming. So cosmic egg is the universal force energy in this situation. The cosmos, the universe is forcing this, the universal shift here. They're force, uh, the universe is forcing this, um, universally. So this, it's like the will of fortune. It can go in your favor or not in your favor, um, for some, I feel that universal force change is the popular online cancer social media platform about to be shut down through many shocking series of chain events. But it really could be anything in your life, cancer, however that resonates, okay? Like I said, I feel it can go in your favor or not in your favor. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Sorry, I was watching my kitties. They like to watch out, call out to the back door. Otter. An Easter egg is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. And a snow, snow globe. 
an Easter egg and a snow globe is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Well, we're in July of 2022, an Easter egg. I, I mean, I don't know. Easter has come and gone this year, but um, some kind of Easter egg energy, which to me, this kind of looks like, an e like a tie-dye Easter egg, but um, some kind of Easter egg energy. Um, I don't know, you guys. Easter's already come and gone here in the United States for 2022, but maybe some... Um, Somehow, Easter eggs about to become significant in one of your guys' life in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, maybe you still have some Easter eggs laying around. Maybe a child gives you an Easter egg. I'm not sure. Some kind of significance of Easter egg and a snow globe. Um, so, a snow globe is about to become significant in somebody's life, too. I did a reading about a couple weeks ago about a um, somebody put a hex and a curse on a snow globe. So, maybe for one of you guys, um, you have a hex or a curse snow globe. I mean, I hate to say that, but. Why anybody go that great of lengths to put a hex and a curse on a freaking snow globe? I have no idea, but there's crazy folks in the world. So maybe or maybe not. But somehow a snow globe is about to become significant in your life, whether it's hexed or cursed or not. Otter? A snow globe being thrown across the room is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Very significant. Oh, my God. A snow globe being thrown across the room, I heard it's about to become very significant in Cancer's life, very significant. So, somebody's about to throw a snow globe across the room? Dear Lord have mercy. That sounds, um, sounds like anger issues right there. But um, throwing a snow globe across the room. Hopefully, that's not you, Cancer, but only you know if um, you throw objects across rooms or are going to throw a snow globe across the room. You plug it in, how it resonates. Hopefully nobody gets hit with the snow globe because that would, that man, that would be rough getting hit with the snow globe. That is, that's terrible. I'm not saying anybody is going to get hit with the snow globe, but um, it, it that would be a terrible thing to hit with. Otter? A breakup is significant in a cancer's life. And a Virgo wanting to start a new business. A breakup is significant in a cancer's life. And a Virgo wanting to start a new business. And an assisted living facility. And an assisted living facility. A breakup is significant in a cancer's life. A Virgo wanting to start a new business. Heavy Virgo energy. So... Um, it could be your secret love of the past, um, cancer. It could be another Virgo, uh, whoever this Virgo is and how they apply to you, uh, or how they resonate. Okay. Some kind of Virgo wanting to start a business is very significant to a cancer. They could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, cancer. An assisted living facility. So a ALF, ALF is very significant in a cancer's life. Um, how that resonates and applies for, um, not Virgo, uh, Cancer. So this is your um, Virgo, your Otter. Um, looks like they're eager to start a business. Um, for one of these Virgos, they will get around the wrong people. It's going to crash and burn. For one, they're going to do it solo. Okay. Her, for one of these Virgos, they're going to get around the wrong people and the business is going to crash and burn. And for one of the uh, one of the Virgos, they're going to do it solo. So one of the Virgos, they're going to think smarter, not harder, do it by themselves. Um, they're very eager to do it. This is your Virgo. They're very eager, eager to do it, the solo person. Um, whoever they are, they're very skilled, and they're very independent. They like to do things on their own. Um, and they're very intellectual, I'll tell you that, whoever this Virgo is. Now, the other Virgo, of course, you have to first play, plug these Virgos in your life, how they resonate. But the other Virgo... I heard they're going to get around the wrong people. So I think the wrong business partners or the wrong employees. And I heard the business is going to take it to the ground. So you plug it in. Your own life, how it resonates. Um, cancer. Mushrooms. A water sign that claimed they were 
they were dead is about to come back very, very, very public very soon. Very public. This water sign think it's going to thinks it's going to go positively for them, but it is not. They will actually end up in jail for many series of chain of events. Oh my god, whoa. Fake their own death for money. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh, oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, so I heard a water sign. Heavy cancer placements. Heavy cancer placements. Oh, my God. Masculine. Masculine. Oh, my God. Okay, so heavy cancer placements. Water sign. Masculine. Uh, with heavy cancer. So, two or two plus placements of cancer. Um, he faked his own death for money, I heard. For money. Uh, but I heard he's about to come back very, very, very public. But I heard he thinks it's going to go positively for him. But it's, he's actually, through many series of chain events, going to end up in jail. But I heard he faked his death for money. Whoa. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. This is insane. Somebody's faking their death for money? What? I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. This is cray-cray. Um. Whoever this cancer masculine is, heavy cancer placements masculine is, and how he resonates and applies in your life there, um, cancer. <laughs> Woo! Um, like I said, I heard he faked his own death. It's been this way for years. Now he wants to come back public, but it is not going to think. It's not going to turn out the way he thinks it is. Oh, my God, I heard it's been this way for years. So he faked his own death for money, but now he wants to come out living? Well, you can't do that because you never died. <laughs> what the crap? That is the most insane in the main brain thing I think I've ever heard in my life. I, I wonder if he moved to a different country. I didn't hear he did, but I wonder if he did. This is crazy. Um. So, but I heard basically he's about to resurface, but it's not going to, because he wants to be a living now. He wants to be living for some reason. But now you just can't be coming back from the dead after years because people know you lied, basically. Um, it is about to mortify his family. It is about to mortify his family. That's what I just heard. It's about to mortify his family. Oh, my Lord, this is wow. Um. When, when negative series of chain events start happening to this can cancer masculine, he's going to bring the Libra feminine down too. When negative series of chain events start happening to this cancer masculine, he's going to bring a Libra feminine down too. So somehow a Libra femme was connected to him faking his death, I'm presuming? I don't know. This is so insane in the membrane. But I heard he wants to come back living now. It's about to mortify his family. So I'm assuming his family knew he was living all alone. I'm assuming. Um, a realtor is about to come very significant in this. A realtor family member. A realtor family member is about to come very significant in this. So this cancer masculine, we're all about him right now. This cancer masculine that faked his own death years ago, but now wants to come living back again, which you just can't do that crap. He has a realtor family member. He has a realtor family member and somehow... Um, this realtor family member is about to become significant. Um, that could be the one that's about to be very highly embarrassed or not. I'm not sure. This is so crazy. But I heard once he comes back living again, through many series of chain events, he's going to end up in jail. But he's going to bring down a Libra fem with him. And somehow an air sign, a Gemini Libra Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call about this. This is so insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain! Mushrooms. A heroin bust is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. 
and a drug raid on a water sign masculine's property and home. A heroin bust is about to become very significant. Heroin bust, Gemini masculine. Heroin bust, Gemini masculine. My God, so we got two drug dealers in here. Um, a heroin bust. Um, somehow, Gemini masculine is about to be involved with this heroin bust. Um, I don't know if the Gemini masculine is the investigator or SWAT team or DEA or the drug dealer uh, or dealers. However, that resonates. But some kind of heroin bust energy and a Gemini masculine is going to be involved in that. So whether he is a drug dealer or a person, or maybe he's the person that buys the drugs from undercover or, um, or what have you, what have you, he is significant in this. Some, some kind of heroin bust energy. Uh, somehow you're connected to this cancer. Maybe you know this Gemini masculine drug dealer, heroin drug dealer, or Gemini masculine um, DEA agent about to bust up this heroin bust. Um, or investigator investigating a heroin bus. How that resonates, Cancer? Um, and for one, um, a water sign masculine. I heard a water sign masculine is about to, uh, uh, his home and property is about to be drug raided. So uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy. He could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the main energy for charts. His home and property is about to be drug raided. So however you are connected to this Water sign masculine. Drug raid energy with the heroin bust. And I didn't hear what kind of drug or drugs for the uh, for the water sign masculine. This is crazy. Woo! Okay, I didn't hear anything else. It is about to go very, very, very badly for the water sign masculine. About to get drug raided. Very badly. It is about to go very, very badly for the water sign masculine that's about to get drug raided. So whoever you are, Cancer, um, whoever this water sign masculine is that I think he's a drug dealer. Um, I mean, he has to be if his um, home and property is getting drug raided. And I'm just being for real. Um, I think he's over there making something. Or um distributing something or got his goons out working the streets or what have you what have you i mean i don't know um but somehow one of you guys is uh connected to this um water sign masculine he could have cancer pisces scorpio and his sun moon rising venus world thumb inhibitor jupiter's hearts adjacent possibilities A cancer is about to get another job. A side hustle. Congrats, whoever that's for. Cancer is about to get another job. Side hustle. So, congrats to you, sir, ma'am. Um, side hustle energy. I've done many side hustles in my time. Many. Uh, uh, I've, I've done many. Uh, me and my daughter used to do ship, or I did ship, and she helped me. And, um... I uh, was going to do the Postmates, but I didn't do that. Uh, I've done many side hustles, many. Um, I'm glad for all the prostitution energy, because we were pulling in heavy prostitution energy in cancers for a while, but I'm not pulling it in right now. So I'm feeling a lot of you guys have moved on um, to greener pastures, and I feel for who a uh, majority of you guys, um, you got out of the um, prostitution lifestyle, I'm feeling. Um, and you've moved on. Uh, I think you've realized your worth and you moved on is exactly what I think for uh, a handful. Uh, well, not a handful, but whoever that resonated with, I guess I should say. Um, now, maybe there still are some uh, cancer prostitutes that watch my channel, but I'm not pulling you in right now. I'll tell you that. Um, but somebody has got a um, side hustle. You've got a side hustle. Um, congrats. Congrats and kudos to you. Like I said, I've, I've had PRN jobs, part-time jobs, full-time jobs, side hustles. You name it, I've had it. And that's just the truth. Um, that, that's the truth. And I don't mind doing it. 
Teardrops, Great Personal Sorrow. An overdose death is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. An overdose death is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So kind of overdose energy. And I did a reading yesterday on overdoses. If, it, if anybody resonates with that, um, you might want to check that reading out. Um, it was on alcohol poisoning and overdoses. Many drugs in there. Hard drugs. Um, and some kind of funky weed laced with something, something. Um, however that resonates, but if you're interested in checking that reading out, um, but yeah, so some kind of overdose energy coming soon. I feel it's somebody you're connected to cancer. Um, uh, hopefully it's not you over there shooting or snorting or injecting or what have you, what have you. Um, I promote independence on here and breaking away from toxic habits, not, um, Becoming codependent on drugs or alcohol or other people. So hopefully um, it's not you. But I think it's going to make you very sad. Uh, whoever this is that overdoses. Um, I, I think it's going to make you sad. I think you were close to them or you are close to them. For one, it's about to be alcohol poisoning. For one, it's about to be alcohol poisoning. So for one, it's alcohol poisoning. For one, it's overdose on some kind of drug. I strongly feel it might be meth, coke, um, no, not coke, meth, heroin, um, or the weed laced with something strange, uh, from the reading I did yesterday, um, but, but it really could be anything. I know there's some weird, funky street name drugs for the newest stuff out on the street. I used to know some of them when I worked at the jail, but it's been, it's been years. Um, so I can't remember the names. I think it was called Flaca or Flacca or something. Hell, I don't know. It's been years, but however that resonates, um, it's going to make you sad. It's going to make you sad. And, um, my condolences to whoever passes away, uh, it doesn't sound like they have beat the habit. Caterpillar, things will always be this way. A change is coming. Five, five, five energy. A stepchild is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. A stepchild is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. So some kind of stepchild energy, uh, whether it's your stepchild or somebody you're connected to stepchild. I strongly feel for a lot of you guys, it's your stepchild, but you plug it in how it resonates. But for some of these stepchildren, they're going to become very positive in your life. So how about racial stepchildren? For some not so positive so i think karmic stepchildren but you plug it in your own life how it resonates um, but five 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 change energy with uh, the effects of the stepchildren in your life whether they are positive influences or negative you plug it in how it resonates and aquarius is about to become very significant in a cancer's life very significant One cancer, you are not pleased at this Aquarius. And you're going to definitely let them know. Okay. Um, I heard uh, Aquarius is about to come very, very significant in cancer's life for one of you guys. Um, this Aquarius is a negative energy in your life. For some reason, now only you know why they're a negative energy in your life. I heard you're not pleased with them and you're about to definitely let them know. So change is coming. I, I think this is communication to the um, Aquarius. I think you're going to text them or call them or email them or maybe you'll see them in the regular world, um, in public maybe, or go to their home. I'm not sure. But um, definite you communicating effectively communicating with the cancer I'm, I'm sorry not the cancer the aquarius i'm presuming wow 
And a cancer is having a huge wake-up call of who really has ineffective communication skills. This cancer is about to take some huge action. Whoa, and this cancer has, uh, and a cancer is getting a huge wake-up call of who really has ineffective communication skills. Um, and this cancer is about to take some action. So, in the past, I think you were lied to or somebody gossiped on you or somebody you're connected to saying somebody had ineffective communication skills. But in all reality, now you're realizing who really has the ineffective communication skills and who doesn't. Um, I don't think it's the person that gossiped and slandered saying blah, blah, blah had ineffective communication skills. Um, because there's a reason you're having a wake-up call now. I think it's the person that gossiped about the other person that said they had ineffective communication skills, to be honest. Because there's a reason you're having a wake-up call now. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's exactly what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. The definite 555 energy, you're basically, um, one of you guys is very, very upset at a freaking Aquarius, man. Very upset. Um, very upset. A pregnancy of a Pisces is about to become very significant in many people's lives soon. And a fire sign femme about to move. Okay, I heard a, a pregnancy of a Pisces is about to become very significant in many people's lives soon. And a fire sign moving. An Aries, a uh, fire sign femme. Aries Leo Sagittarius moving. Out of state. Out of state. So, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius is about to move out of state. And, um, is significant in your life in some shape or form or fashion, Cancer, and a pregnant Piscean feminine energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Cancer. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. New people are about to really, really come into a Cancer's life. It's about to really, really benefit one particular Cancer. New energy, new people. Okay. New people are about to really come in and freshen up the energetic space, basically, for a Cancer. Uh, whoever this is for, Cancer, it's about to really benefit you. A meeting with a stranger could be uh, important. Um, I'm feeling for some you've moved or you're about to move like far locations and that's what's about to freshen up the energetic space is what i'm feeling for some of you guys and i'm just being serious for some it could be just them moving into your area or your locale but i'm feeling for a majority of you guys you're probably moving you are moving and that's what's causing the fresh energetic space um so that's what i'm feeling for some of you guys but you plug it in however it resonates my kitty's so cute out there looking out the door um but you plug it in how it resonates okay And a conversation a cancer is about to have with an investigator is about to become very important. And a conversation a cancer is about to have with an investigator is about to become very important. And a hospital that received a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of funds when they were not supposed to, they're about to have to pay every penny back plus interest. One of, one of these cancers received money from that. You'll have to pay it back. Know this. Okay, and one of you guys works at a hospital, I'm presuming, or you have a family member that works at a hospital. I heard a hospital receive basically a ton of funds when they shouldn't have. Um, I heard through many series of chain of events, they're going to have to pay back every penny plus interest. And for one of you guys, you receive money off that. So I feel you work at this hospital or did work at this hospital, or you have a family member or a loved one that worked at the hospital and somehow you receive money off of it. But I heard every single penny is going to have to be paid back plus some. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, Cancer. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. A Cancer sister is about to contact the FBI soon.
She's not going to tell you she's going to do it. It's about to become very significant in your life in a way you would have never expected. Okay. Cancer Reader. Popular online social media platform. Cancer Reader online popular social media platform. Okay, so. What up, buddy? Come on. So a uh, popular online social media platform, Cancer. Um, your phone is strong again. You could be the previous messages or a new popular online social media platform, Cancer. You plug it in how it resonates. Cancer feminine. It's Cancer fam. Okay. Cancer fam. I heard um, your sister is about to um, contact the FBI soon, ma'am. Your sister is. Uh, she's not going to tell you she's about to contact the FBI. So the FBI is the Federal Bureau of Investigations. I heard she's about to contact the Federal Bureau of Investigations, but she's not going to tell you she's going to do it. So she's doing it for reasons, strategic reasons, but strategic reasons she doesn't want you to know. Uh, but I heard basically this contact that she, that your sister is about to make. Now it could be a foster sister or a biological sister. Only you know who the sister is, not anybody else. My cat just jumped up the glass. Hold on a second. I think he's stuck. Hold on. I'm sorry. No, he got down. He got down. Okay. Um, whoa, that was so weird. Uh, so anyways, um, I'm uh, sorry. So anyway, so um, once she contacts the Federal Bureau of Investigations, your sister, online popular pl uh, platform, social media, Cancer Fem, um, I heard this contact she's about to make with the Federal Bureau of Investigations, investigator of investigators or agency, is about, is about to become very significant in your life in an unexpected way, in a way you would have never expected. But you're not going to know she's going to contact the Federal Bureau of Investigations, Cancer, popular online social media platform, FEM, if that makes sense, okay? So, however, this is about to become significant. Um, I think she's about to manifest an agent, agent, agent in, is what I think. I think she's about to manifest a freaking agent in. This is exactly what I think. And I'm so serious about that. Uh, there's a reason she's contacting the Federal Bureau of Investigations, ma'am. I don't know what the hell's going on over here with this business or the situation or what have you, what have you. But this is um, many, 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 many series of sham events are going to occur with this situation very soon. New York is very significant for one. Okay, um, so it's at least two of you guys. There's at least two of you guys. Um, so many... Shocking series of shame events are going to occur with this situation soon with the contact with the Federal Bureau of Investigations, investigator, investigators, or agency. And um, and New York is significant for one of these. So what, there's at least two of you readers here in this category, at least two. But New York is significant for one of you guys. So I think one of you guys lives in New York or your sister lives in New York or you visit New York or something of that nature. I'm feeling New York State. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. A cancer that was once called a drug addict in the past, it's about to backfire on the people that called this cancer a drug addict. They're not. Have never have been. And a cancer that called a uh, fire sign femme a drug addict in the past when they never have been. It's about to backfire on them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Good, well, a lot of gossip. Uh, why are people calling people drug addicts um, when they're not? That's just crazy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, somebody gossiped and slandered and defamed your character and said that you were a drug addict in the past. And I heard you never were. It's about to backfire on them. And it should. For one of you guys, you gossiped, defamed, and slandered somebody's character and basically called some uh, fire sign femme, Aries Leo Sage femme, a drug addict in the past. And I heard it's about to backfire on you. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Were you the one gossiped, defamed, and slandered? Or were you the one gossiping, defaming, and slandering people? Um, I would be careful with the defamation of character because if somebody finds that crap out, public slander of, uh, public slander, especially if it's somebody's credentials or career or something that can get them fired 
wrongfully terminated or something, that's serious. That's like lawsuit energy. If you might need to hear that. And I'm just being serious. So, all right. A cancer masculine, homosexual, cancer masculine, your, your committed partner of the past is going to try to come back. But he is very strung out on drugs. You will notice this when he comes back. Oh, Lord. Can I'm sorry, um, homosexual, cancer masculine. Oh, my Lord. So your homosexual, cancer masculine, somehow your partner has been energetically separated from you it sounds like y'all been on a break or you broke up or what have you what have you i don't know what whatever reason he has not been around you in the energetic space but it sounds like he hasn't been around you in the energetic space because he's been over there he really has been doing drugs i don't know if it's mushrooms if it's heroin if it's coke if it's um lsd uh what have you what have you i don't know i didn't hear specifically what it was but Y'all have not been around each other for a minute. I'm feeling for some a hot minute, but it's because he's been out there strong on, I think he's been on the street strong on drugs or at somebody's house strong on drugs or wherever he was strong on drugs. But he's about to re-enter your life. He's a former partner of yours. Um, very, very, very wealthy cancer masculine. Very wealthy. <clears throat> very, very, very wealthy cancer masculine. Very wealthy. So you're, you're a wealthy man, cancer masculine. You're very wealthy. Whoever you are, sir. Um, this is how you pull up in the energetic space. Uh, and you're homosexual, so your partner was the same, was a masculine too. Um, but I heard when he comes back, you're going to realize that he was strung out on drugs. Um, whoever you are, sir. So I don't know if you're going to notice his pupils are dilated or his pupils are constricted or he is... Um, slurring his speech or he cannot cognitively carry on a um legible conversation with you or he's shaking and jittering or what have you what have you um or he's got track marks running all up his arms or toes or between his toes or what have you what have you um only you know the manifestations you're about to see i feel physically on your former homosexual lover that's about to try to reconcile back with you and however you handle that situation i'm not sure you plug it in how it resonates washington dc is very significant alabama is very significant new york is very significant and north carolina Washington, D.C., New York, North Carolina, Alabama, and Florida and Texas and Tennessee, and Florida and Texas and Tennessee, and Florida and Texas and Tennessee. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. I feel you can live in those states or you know somebody that resides in those states or um, you visit those states or have visited those states, however that resonates, okay? There was a lot of states you can go back and check them. All right, I hope this helped. Love you guys so much and namaste.